Hello, this is a short video of, a, of an instrument approach, an ILS approach at uh, Rosaria County Airport down in Angleton, Texas, intended to show some of the features that uh, the Grand Rapids EFIS is going to have. Um, I was given a chance to beta test some of these. You can see in the center as we form up on the uh, ILS, you'll, uh, the HITS, the Highway in the Sky, which is out there now, and also the flight director symbol, um, the purple uh, Chevron there is the commanded uh, uh, attitude of the aircraft and the yellow is the actual uh, attitude of the aircraft and the idea is to nest the yellow right into the purple and you should head right on down. Um, you can notice the flight path indicator or velocity vector is the little circle with the uh, little wings and tail sticking up that should be inside the hits boxes if you're trying to uh, stay in the corridor and uh, this is, I'm still outside the outer marker by just a bit. The freep is the outer marker. And uh, now as we're coming up on it, the, the, uh, you'll saw, you saw the, the drop, the, the uh, sudden change in glide slope between level flight and uh, joining up on the glide slope. Um, through this part of the uh, approach, I was pretty much keeping right down the center line. And then uh, later on, I was flying just a little bit below the chevron, the guidance chevron just so you could see the, the separation so they didn't just meld together because I know this is going to be a low resolution video by the time it hits the internet. You can also see the ILS command bars on the right side and uh, the bottom showing the glide slope and the localizer respectively and you can see what I mean that I'm just slightly below the glide slope I was flying this in visual conditions and uh, now if you look just beyond the uh, velocity vector you can see the black um, runway beginning to show up. It's a uh, runway 17. It's uh, about three miles ahead and the runways are looking very good. Um, this is the HX version, the synthetic vision version of the software, which you really can't tell since um, this part of Texas is essentially a flat Euclidean plane. You really can't see any of the, uh, the terrain features, but at least the runways do show up and they show up black and as we cross over it you'll actually see the runway number and the centerline stripes which is pretty good. The obstacle flashing uh, just is uh, telling us that the earth is in the way which uh, is what you'd expect when you're coming in close and underneath the velocity vector you now see the flashing green and red which is the altitude above the ground based on GPS data. It's not a radar altimeter um, so it's uh, basically assuming a flat uh, terrain underneath you. It's really uh, height above touchdown zone I believe. So we're coming down through 300 feet. Um, you can see the runway growing. The velocity vector is slightly off to the side of the runway. I'm going to correct back uh, in just a minute. And now I'm coming back uh, to the glide slope. I'm really flying visually, to be honest, at this point, since I'm down below 200 feet. Air is coming up on 100 feet. And here comes the runway. You should be able to see the uh, runway markings as we come over the threshold. And the thresholds and sides coincide extremely well between the, uh, the real world and what the uh, GRT shows.